in this problem, water is contained in a tank and it's losing heat. To keep the water steady at a certain temperature, uh, 2 kilowatt of electrical power is needed. And the surface temperature of the tank and as well as the surrounding temperatures are given. And we have to find the entropy generation inside the system and outside the system. Uh, no, find this in the system's universe. So as you can see, the, the boundary already is outside the system, including uh, part of the surroundings where entropy can be generated. So this is my system's universe, the red boundary. Internally, if you want to draw another boundary, so to find entropy generation internal to the system, we'll stick to this boundary. So in the internal boundary, the temperature is given to be 350 Kelvin, and the external boundary temperature is, as you can see, 300 Kelvin. This is a straightforward problem. Obviously, it's a steady state, closed system. So let's start with the energy equation and see what it tells us. The EDT equals Q dot minus W dot external. The EDT goes to zero steady state. So zero equals Q dot is what? Q dot is loss. So it is Q dot. Okay, Q dot is unknown here, sorry. So let's just put Q dot. And what is W dot external? So in this problem, it says it consumes 2 kilowatt. So 2 kilowatt is going in using wind hip. Work in is negative. So the wind hip convention tells us that in this case, the external work sign should be negative. So it should be negative 2 kilowatt, which gives us Q dot to be, as you manipulate this equation, you can show that it will be minus 2 kilowatt. In other words, Q dot is an algebraic quantity and heat in is positive, heat out is negative. So it shows that automatically, algebraically it shows that the heat is getting lost, which is intuitive. To keep the water er, er, warm, we are pouring in two kilowatts of power, electrical power, and heat must be coming out at two kilowatt. Otherwise the tank will get warmer or colder based on you know, the excess or deficit of energy. So this is the simple part. So let's do the entropy equation for the system's universe. So again, it is such a simple problem that we can do it in one page, Q dot over TB plus S dot gen universe. Again, steady state. So therefore, the universe, the entropy generation in the entire universe is given as minus Q dot over TB and minus Q dot is two, load is minus two, I'm substituting here, and the boundary temperature is 300 Kelvin. So it's, the answer is one over 150, I'm sorry, one divided by 150 kilowatt per Kelvin. So that's the entropy generation in the universe. Which is in decimals, it's about 0.0067 kilowatt per Kelvin. Now let's do the same thing for the internal boundary. Uh, as you can see, for the internal boundary, we get, for the internal boundary, uh, we again write the equation. But this time, We are up to the internal entropy generation. Notice this is same, the steady state it goes to zero. So therefore, S dot gen internal equal Q dot is minus two kilowatt, and TB would be 350 Kelvin. So this turns out to be 0 0.0057 approximately kilowatt per Kelvin. Notice that we expect the internal entropy generation to be less than universal entropy generation because the universe of the system includes the internal generation. So friction is only additive. There is more friction. The bigger the net, the more friction you capture. 
And when you take this red boundary, you're taking all possible entropy generation. There is nothing left. That's the entropy generation of the universe, which is 0 0.0067. So the percent that is created inside is simply 0 0.0057 divided by 0 0.0067, which is about 85%. So the thermodynamic friction that takes place in the system, 85% of that is inside the tank, and 50, about 15% is outside the tank, in the immediate surroundings area, where the heat is lost. Again, the entropy generation here, if you ask this question that what is causing this generation, you can understand that internally, inside the tank, there's the electrical potential difference that is getting destroyed, and then this part of the tank is very hot. I, I, let's assume the entire tank is at the same temperature. Even then, as the heat comes out from the tank to outside, there will be temperature difference causing entropy generation. Whenever there's a temperature difference and heat flows, heat is trying to destroy the temperature difference. So anytime a difference is getting destroyed, entropy is generated. And the, the universe, the entropy generation of the universe means the sum of all friction is quantified by this number.